And here I got me. Looks like it's a B1, but it also has an A in it. And they say it's snowing in here. And not working very well. Well, I don't know. It feels like I got air up there. I don't know. I have to find out why it's snowing though. Let's see, I got my hoses ran over the top so they can get through, of course. Let's go check out rack B. It's gonna be uh, up there. Rack B. Evaporators. B1. Well, B1 is at temperature. It just looks to be snowing, so I don't know what they're talking about. You got any alarms? Oh, yeah, excuse me. In here. In there, acknowledge. In there. Oh, here we go. Right there. B1. How about that? Again here, B1. B1 at 10.01 p.m. at 41 above 10 degrees for 90 minutes. Scroll down a little older. High temperature, 12.03, B1A. And it looks like that's where the B... No, again on 11.27, but it wasn't quite as bad then. Again on 11.26. Alright, let's go look at the... At the... History for B1A. B1A. And history. Okay. So. And this is not even during a defrost, man. So this was just a little bit ago. They emptied the case out for me when I got here. So that's those ones that you see going from 10. 11. Okay, so let's go. So, here we have our defrost beginning at midnight or 12.02. But before being in defrost, oh man, it wasn't holding temp at all. Ever since, probably. Man, what happened here? That's crazy. Look at how high that went up. So, we have. has to be stocking it or something. I'm not sure, but let's see. Let's go back because there's another alarm back uh, on 12.5. Let's see if it'll let me go back to 12.5. Oh, there we are. Or let's see. Where are we? 12.5, 5.30 a.m. Uh, this is probably when they stocked it on the morning of 12.5. But why so hot at, at that time, man? Like, damn. That's crazy. So, we got something going on with this damn case, obviously. I want to see if I can get in here and force a heat frost. Let's do that. Okay, let's go. Access accepted. Okay, so why? Okay, edit. There we go. Manual on B1. Let's do 120 minutes. Okay. Okay. I'm good with that. Sure. And well, what do you know? Defrost has begun. Okay, so this one over here is going to be my B2B. And this is going to be my B2... No, no, B1. B1B, B1A. 
Yeah, man, this sure is a lot of, uh, a lot of ice, eh? Okay, let's see. Drain here. Looks like it's, uh, looks like it's draining. All right. So, so far, um, just washing it out, you know, uh, it's got a lot of trash in it. The drain was a little clogged, but not very much. I haven't yet tested the fans, but I do see that this switch is not mounted like it's supposed to be. That is supposed to be touching the, uh, it's supposed to be making contact with the pipe, and it's not. And it lost the clip. And this right here, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like a wire. Yeah, that looks like a wire that is melted to me. It could be a live, or most likely is a live oh, wire. But to what is it a live wire? And where does that live wire? Oh, that's a sensor. Got to be a sensor. All right. Okay. No, that's not. Okay, that's a sensing bulb for something. Sensing bulb. Sensing bulb for a temp controller that is not wired in. Okay, so this is of no concern. I can take it out of there if I want to. All right, so now that I've done all this, I clean my drain pan. In the back, I've got some ice. You see? Now, is this considered enough ice to uh, cause it to snow in here? I don't know. Maybe. But I do know that I'm going to get that ice. Uh -huh. Melted. So we got none there. Got some over here. Gonna be upside down for a second there. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that now. Got it all at the back. Reflush the drain pan. Drain pan's nice and clean. Yep, I'm going to mount that properly because that's not correct. Like I said, this here needs to be touching the pipe. Yeah, it does. All right. Okay. So you see that? It goes, it goes like that, man. But it probably belongs on the bottom one. Yeah, it belongs on the bottom one, so that's the tricky part. You know, getting it on that bottom one is really very tricky. And what's better? Getting it on the bottom one not very well, and then it coming off again, or getting it on like maybe this one, or even this one perhaps, hell, and it's staying and it's staying there properly. I think. I don't think it needs to be on the bottom one. I don't think it really makes any freaking difference. What do you think? So, I will put my two loops there and have them ready. Slide that in there. And I'm gonna need my other hand and I don't have my tripod with me, so let's see what happens. Okay, I think, I think that, uh, I think that is all right. Yep, that's all right. Okay, now we're gonna see if the fans work. Mm-hmm. So, as you all know, or uh, you should know, that switch turns our fans on. It either does that or it terminates defrost, but I don't think that's what happens. I think it turns the fans on. So, if it's not on there, then the fans will come on late. I don't think that's why it's uh, snowing in here, though. I think that it's snowing in here because customers don't really care to close the door. So the door remains open more than half the time because... Look at that. You've got to really... You've got to really push it to make it close, man. 
Who's gonna do that all day long? Nobody. None of them close by themselves. Except that one, maybe. Okay, that one does. Yep. What about that one? That one does. Okay, that one does. Okay, I was wrong. But, I know this one don't. Hell, that one doesn't even try. That's why it's snowing in here. So we're gonna close it and we're gonna watch it run and get down to temp and make sure that it's not. Ooh, all this shit's soft, man. I told them to empty it. We're gonna make sure that it gets down to temp and that it's not snowing. See ya. Okay. And well, they're all on, yo. That's just what I thought. So, 62. I just said 68 a minute ago. Look at how fast that's dropping. That's what's up. You know we got airflow now. All right, so here we are at 42, and it is 3.02 a.m., and we are all doors closed and running. And this is all the trash I got out of the drain pan. Now, taking a little while longer to cool down. It had gotten down to 19 about like 15 minutes ago. So we're now 3.17 a.m., 15 minutes later, it's down to 20, and it was down to 17 like 10 minutes ago, but I had to put all these trays in, that's what I've been doing the last 10 minutes, so I think it's good, but we're still running it, watching it, with the doors closed and staying closed now. All right, then. Everything picked up. I just got to squeegee the floors. See what we got going on here. Eleven degrees. How about that, man? I think it's working good. Let's see. So that's when I turned it on. Got down to 19 degrees and then I put in the uh, bottom panels right there between 312 and yeah 312 and 318 or no like more like 322 actually so it's at 21 and it's been going down ever since about a degree to two degrees every well, let's see right here at 330 so from 19, it dropped one degree every two minutes until it hit 15. Then at 15 degrees, it dropped two degrees in two minutes, one degree per minute. Then it dropped another damn near two degrees. So it's dropping like a degree every minute now. And it is 336. All right, it is 347 and it is three degrees in there and it is not snowing therefore I believe that we have a problem with this door and that is the reason that it's been snowing in there and we need to get that fixed and then also tune in for the repair video that I do on that door we're gonna have to look up the door hardware and figure out how that operates based on that model number in the meantime be sure to click on the video link that's in the screen right there right now thanks for watching i appreciate it be sure to subscribe